to make money from brand deals? A standout athlete from Greensboro is fighting for this opportunity with a lawsuit against the State Board of Education. Faison Brandon says that he is missing out on profiting off his name because North Carolina's ban on name, image, and likeness for public school athletes. WRO's Aaron Thomas is live at Athens Drive High School in Raleigh to explain this ongoing debate. Aaron? Well, Gerald, let's go ahead and give our viewers a timeline of events. So May of last year, it was the High School Athletic Association. They proposed this idea of NIL deals. Then we get to June of this year, the State Board of Education actually imposed a ban on said deals. Then we get to August of this year, just days ago, the mother of that student athlete filed a lawsuit. We came to local schools like Athens Drive to find out about this debate about whether or not students should be paid for their time and talent. These parents and students are personalizing parking spaces at Athens Drive High School. Becca Smith is decorating her son's spot. He's played varsity soccer since he was a freshman, and we've loved it. We've gone to almost every game. With blood, sweat, and tears poured into this sport for years, his mother questions if he should profit off his name, image, and likeness as a high school athlete. I definitely think kids should at least have a choice. Grimsley High quarterback Faison Brandon would agree. He claims he missed out on a huge chunk of cash because of state rules around name, image, and likeness. Brandon's mother filed a lawsuit against the State Board of Education on her son's behalf. Historically, there have been groups that have thought that athletics should be an amateur endeavor. Sports lawyer Joshua Freezer has heard this argument many times. He says there can be some gray area, especially for athletes under 18 years old. In most states not even able to, to don't even have the capacity to contract, um, so they can't even enter into an, into an NIL agreement on their own. Their parents have to do it for them. Smith's son will have graduated after the State Board of Education updates its rules surrounding NIL deals, but she'll continue to advocate for high school athletes being rewarded. They should have that opportunity, but with some guidance along the way. And while public school athletes are not able to participate in NIL deals, you have high school athletes at private schools, they are able to do so. Aaron Thomas, WRL News, live in Raleigh.